Hi. Hi. Pleasure. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So the, the first time I saw you on an animated series, I don't know if you did the voice work for this, but it was a little excerpt from Family Guy oh. that um, the, the skit was uh, <coughs> Hitler? Adolf Hitler. And he was like, we're going to be speaking to Hollywood punk Christian <laughs> well, no. Did you do the voice for that? No. Oh, okay. No. No. Um, I guess it's kind of like how South Park does it, right? They don't ever use, they just create their own thing. Um, but no, yeah, I I, uh, I didn't do the voice. I've done voices for other things now. Come to think of it, I, I know I done like a few. I love doing. It. I love doing voiceovers. It's. Uh, I think I started with Fern Gully, you know, which is clearly what James Cameron based, you know, that movie on, right? I mean, if you look at Fern Gully, it's the same story. Uh, is there anybody with me on this? I'm, I'm there. Okay, I'm good. There. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was Pips the Purple Fairy in that, and uh, I enjoyed that, that was fun. But yeah, so I've done like kid shows, uh, Phineas and Ferb type things, and <coughs> Jimmy Neutron, and, uh, and things like that. So, but this show, I just thought was really cool. Um, my wife and I watched it together, and uh, there were references that I wouldn't get that she would explain to me, and you know, references that she wouldn't get that I could explain to her, and um, we ended up bonding and, and realizing that we had a very similar sense of humor. Um, and uh, and I wanted to just reach out to the creator, Adam, and, and let him know. And uh, after I saw the Burt Reynolds episode, I thought, oh, something like that would be really fun. <coughs> and um, he wrote me back, and, and uh, we started a little dialogue, and uh, he sent me a few options of different names to use, and Slater being one of them. And I was, I was open to the idea. And I thought, That's a fun, yeah. I, I kind of like that, and, and uh, went with it. And you now I just keep sort of getting sprinkled in and out of these, and uh, it's great. And, and they're a great group of people. What can you tease about how your character plays into the story in the upcoming season? Uh, well. It's kind of been described to me as, you know, I mean, I am the guy now that uh, they, they have to report to a little bit, um, uh, and I do send them off on a couple of missions, <coughs> and uh, I do help out with the baby a little bit, and I do cause some problems um, for Archer and, and Lana, and, uh, uh, you know, Adam, there's still a few more episodes to do for the season, and Adam was describing to me, like, what's going to be happening and I'm looking forward to it. Is this your first time like meeting everyone else in the cast? Yeah, uh, the first time I met a few of the people was at uh, the Critics' Choice Awards. <clears throat> so I just had a kind bar. They're really grainy, those kind bars. I mean, they're good, but you know, they get stuck in them. <clears throat> so um, I met them at the Critics' Choice, Choice Awards. Yeah. And, uh, just, but John wasn't there. <clears throat> so this is the first time I'm meeting him. I need water and I'm gonna die. This is terrible. <laughs> um, and it's, it's weird to like close my eyes and listen to, to him speak. It's like being in an episode. It's, it's, uh, it's like all their voices, being Kruger and Lana and Art. He's got such a great voice. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. And it's so distinct and so unique that uh, I just I love it. I love it. It's great. Are you going to be on every single episode this season? No, 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 no. I, uh, like I said, I'm kind of sprinkled in and out. Um, uh, there to 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 uh, answer to a little bit and uh, thank you so much. Sorry, and uh, create some problems. Um, <laughs> For Lana and Archer. Yeah. What's been your favorite moment um, to film or act out the voiceover so far? Um, with this show, I think it was probably like the introduction to the character. I, I thought it was, and I didn't realize you don't know how it's going to look or what it's going to be like until I actually saw the episode. But uh, you know, shooting him 
with that beanbag gun or whatever it was 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 a fun introduction I thought and uh, I thought that was that was a good way to come in <laughs> I enjoyed it <laughs> and then you know just just being animated in general it's like having done other animated things before um, and I think this is really the first time that they've ever animated it to look somewhat like me um, which is uh, which is great because you know I mean it's easy for me and doesn't require any makeup or touch-ups you know and they just do it and, and uh, it's 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 weird to see it it's great I love it <clears throat> are you like are you open to doing more like comedy or animated comedy like it seems kind of like a little bit of a new world in a way is this yeah. something that you're like excited to get into when you do more of? No, absolutely. Um, I mean, this is, I think, the start for me, and uh, you know, an introduction to Adam and, and working with these guys. And <clears throat> you know, uh, who's to say how long Archer will be on? Hopefully, forever. Yeah. And I think it's uh, one of those shows that could go on and on and on. And um, uh, if I could play a, a small role in something like that, it would be wonderful. Uh, they're, they're a great team of people and a, a good family, and uh, it just feels like a good, a good group. I really like it. There we go. <laughs> yeah. You guys all local? New York? Nope. Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. Oh, hey. Uh, <laughs> nice. All right. Thank you very much. You too. Thanks so much. Pleasure.